Well, as far as the, you know, as far as far as the driver's name or anything like that, you know, I I I totally understand confidentiality, but you know, just as a status quo to see if you know if he was right. If he was no, right. I understand. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put you through to our safety director. His name is Gary. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're most welcome, and thank you for being concerned. Thank you. All right, let's have a good day. Hold on. Bye. Hey, Gary. You got me, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing today? My name's I'm a truck driver, the Beaver Dam pilot. Yes, sir. Yesterday, a lot of activity around one of you guys' trucks. Yeah, yeah. I had rep- I had representation there, and then the sheriff's department. All the the driver passed away. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that's all at liberty. I got. That's all at liberty. I got to say is, you know, I I totally understand confidentiality. I understand if I didn't know or whatever, but yes, sir, we we were alerted around two o'clock yesterday in the investigation and found him uh, deceased. We got the truck secured there and under observation and uh, got a forensic team coming over to try to get it cleaned out. Thank you very much. My my condolences goes out to uh, his trucking family, his family, and as well as his uh, his company. Get him on that prayer board at the truck stops. You can get his family on that prayer board. I I would I would definitely do that, and I will go ahead and make my make my Facebook post uh, confirming the Ooh. fact that I did talk to you and and got it confirmed. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, drivers, we definitely have lost another one. His shift came to an end yesterday in Beaver Dam, Ohio, at the pilot. This comes courtesy of Swamp Girl. She reached out to me yesterday. She was actually at the pilot, and um, she informed me that it was a lot of police activity, uh, rescue activity. Um, she couldn't get any more information at the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, they told her that everybody that was in the area, because they had to rope it off, they they told them that they had to leave. You was at the Beaver Dam, Ohio pilot. Uh, where was that off of, actually? Well, 459. 459? Six nine, six nine. Four sixty nine. Six nine. Six, six nine. Yeah, six nine. Okay. So you went up there yesterday about what time? It was uh, three, three in the afternoon. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, because it was a little bit earlier than that when you called me and let me know of the story. You got there and all of a sudden you saw a lot of, a lot of rescue activity. You saw a lot of police activity. From your point of view. What was going on, and 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 what happened? Well, there was uh, a couple of people surrounding uh, a uh, painter, a painter that was running, and they were trying to, you know, knock on the door, shake the shake the truck and everything, but they couldn't get no response out of whoever we were living there, from the paramedics, from the. Uh, with a, yeah, paramedics, the uh, police, and uh, I don't know if it was the company, uh, a couple of drivers and everything like that, but um, one of the company drivers of that company came, and that's when I left, because they were suing, the police were suing everybody away. All right. So everybody that was in that that was parked in that area because they had to rope it off and everything. They they told you guys to leave. They they didn't give you no information as far as the condition of the driver at the time. No, no, they couldn't even get inside the truck. All right. So after that, you was already going on the road on the way, and you don't know nothing else after that. Well, uh, Swamp Girl, unfortunately, the the driver was confirmed passed away uh, we talked we we talked to the safety director of Bynum and he has confirmed that at about 2:30 p.m. yesterday the driver did pass 
and that they are at liberty to say at this at this point there will be of course an investigation as to how if it was if it was foul play or natural causes but as far as as far as any information goes as far as the driver's name and everything like that unfortunately at this point in time it's it's being withheld so i want to thank you very much as being a contributor to the to the channel thank you very much they get us they, they let us know of of what happened my prayers goes out to the to the driver uh, my condolences goes out to his family as well as his trucker family and company and uh, and yeah in, anything you would like to say yeah. well we, we lost we lost more drivers within this economy downfall i guess i just hate i hate to see that man i hate to see that we as truckers out here we we don't have no one to communicate with or even talk to and you know sometimes you know it'd be a relief to drivers to you know go meet up at a travel center or you know or travel stop like ta you know sit there at the uh, diner which they don't have that no more half of these uh, tra uh travel centers don't even have that no more and, and you know these drivers looking for you know human communication within, you know, the industry, which, you know, it's no more. It's no more. I, I agree. For any driver that feels some kind of way and need somebody to talk to or somebody to vent or somebody to just listen to, by all means, reach out. I mean, I, I might not know what you're going through, but you might just need somebody to just listen. As Swamp Girl says, there's no more sitting at the restaurant shooting the shit no more. It, it's, it's no more of that. We're, we're in a hurry. We always have to hurry up and be there, hurry up and wait. So, so much get up and go and people so focused on getting the bag. It's not about getting the bag anymore, man. It's about getting your health together. Ain't, ain't no telling what happened to the young man, whether again, we don't know what happened, but but if it's, if it's health wise, we need to concentrate on the health. Instead of concentrating on three, $4,000 paychecks, we need to concentrate on, on making sure that we're healthy enough to make those three, $4,000 paychecks. We, we need to better take care of ourselves. We need to we need to better make sure that we're healthy enough to 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 make these fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand dollar checks. Because what good is that? What good is that if you're gonna end up being in the back of the truck and you won't be able to wake up the next day because you're not taking care of yourself? Drivers, I need you guys to take care of yourselves. Uh, the money will come. Don't be co too concerned about the money. I understand there's problems that you may be going through right now. I get it. I got the same problems. House, car, family, bills. Bills ain't gonna never stop. Hell, taxes this year. Taxes is coming up. I know Sam is gonna take a, a, a percentage of my stuff, but I'm not worried all about that because now I gotta worry about myself. I am 55 years old. I will be 55 years old this year. And this year I gotta go and do a colonoscopy. How uncomfortable that is, but I gotta do it to make sure that I am healthy. My numbers is down, my blood sugar is down. I'm good, get this colonoscopy, get my physical out the way, make sure that my eyes work, ears work, make sure that I'm still pooping right and the poop is the same color. Listen, guys, I just need you guys to just be, just be focused. I understand you going through some things, but it's not gonna be, it, it, those things that you're going through is gonna be nothing compared to if, you, if you're not healthy enough to drive, if you're not healthy enough to work. Think about all it, think about all of that first and, and, and put this driver that just passed in you guys' prayers 
again thank you uh, thank you swamp girl for sharing with us as always you have always been a major contributor to the channel uh, continue doing that as we continue to grow the best conversation starts here if you want good conversations and good vibes the recruiter call channel the lockout man podcast is the place to be and um and that's what she did i'm a advocate for stories unfortunately that this one is a sad story i i didn't want to uh come out and and jump the gun so to say about uh what happened to this driver unfortunately i wanted to do my due diligence and actually find out to make sure that if he was still with us or he had went home and as you guys heard um it was confirmed by bynum's safety director uh, that the driver has passed away in his truck where they're not at liberty to give us any information maybe maybe more information will probably be provided uh after the investigation of how if it was natural causes uh foul play or anything like that um we will definitely keep you guys posted the lockout men podcast would like to send our condolences to the trucker's family friends co-workers and to the trucking company bynum they already have the truck secured and hopefully they will assist in the family assist the family of getting that driver back to them again rest in peace to this bynum driver um your drive has has come to an end sir thank you thank you very much for your for your time and service to this trucking community and trucking industry